In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, beloved of the Lord. This is Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Friday, the 17th of March, 2023. It is Friday of the third week of Lent, Church Year A. Today is the memorial of St. Patrick, Bishop. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Hosea, chapter 14, verses 1 to 9. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 81. The response to the psalm is, I am the Lord your God. Listen to my voice. The gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. I read from the first reading. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity. Accept that which is good, and we will render the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses, and we will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their faithlessness. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be as the dew to Israel. He shall blossom as the lily. He shall strike root as the poplar. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive, and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom as the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them. But transgressors stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Love the God of heaven and he alone you should worship and serve. Love the God of heaven and he alone you should worship and serve. Dear good people of God, Today's first reading talks about idolatry, the worship of idols in place of the God of heaven who made heaven and earth. Let us begin today's meditation by asking ourselves, Who is your God? Who do you worship and serve? Idolatry is fast becoming a religion the worship of idols or false gods. We have dethroned God, the God of heaven and earth, and have put on his place things that we have made with our own hands. As it were, 
like the Israelites who dethroned God and put on his place a golden calf and worshipped it in place of God. We too, many times, beloved, have dethroned God and we have worshipped idols, many idols that we have made our gods. For you, it could be your work. But how can your work become an idol that you worship in place of the God who made you? When you work and work and you have no time to pray. When you work and work and you have no time for God. In fact, you work even on Sundays. No time for God. And when you work and work, if at all you are to rest, it is time for church that you find little time to rest. Your work has become your God. Women or men can become the God that you worship, sex. No wonder. We lose all our senses when we stand before a man or a woman. When sex is concerned, we have no place for God. Some people spend all their money when it comes to women and men and sex. It has become a God for you. That is the one you have enthroned and you worship in place of the God who made heaven and earth. We have no control over our human urges. We leave ourselves to be carried away by the desire of the flesh. It has become a God for you. Money. Money can become a God for you and you have enthroned money and dethroned the God of heaven and earth. See how much we crave for money. See how much we run after money. So much so that even on days that we need to pray and dedicate to God, no, we are after money. Your God may be your power that you look for. Some are in search of power, positions. And because they are in search of power, it has become their God. That is what they worship. For others, it could be social media. We are on our phones 24 hours of the clock, putting statues. We not spend time praying. We do not have time for God, but we spend time on social media, Facebook, WhatsApp statues, and you will spend time over a phone talking with friends, but a homily to listen for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, is too long. We don't have time. But we can spend time chatting on ending with friends over social media. What is it we are looking for? It has become a God for you. Our own created things have become gods. Deities that we have placed in little secret shrines in our homes or around the compound. Amulets, rings, bracelets from which doctors these are the things that we worship and they have become our God. Idolatry. You may even become a God yourself for your own self because you trust in your power, trust in yourself and do not think that you need to rely on the God of heaven and earth. In today's first reading, we are told from the prophet Hosea, the people have turned away from their God. Their iniquity stands before them. They have worshipped idols in place of the God who made them. And through the prophet Hosea, they say, We will say no more our God to the work of our hands. We too, beloved, many times we have called God to the things that we have made out of our own hands. Our work and many other things have become a God for us. The responsorial psalm of today, the psalm the response says, I am the Lord your God. Listen to my voice. This is the God who made us. In the case of the Israelites, the God who brought them out of Egypt. But oh, we have let other things take the place of God. In the gospel, Jesus tells the people, It is important to love God alone, and only He alone shall we love and serve. Yes, Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, 
And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. This means God alone and no one else. With all our heart. Meaning he takes everything. Our heart is placed on him. Just as your heart is on your work or in your work, so too God should take all of your heart. With all of your soul. But unfortunately, some of us have sold our souls to the devil. With all your mind, meaning you think God, you act God. With all of your strength, you do not give God your tiredness. When we have given our strength to our work, given our strength to sex, given our strength to our cravings for power and money, what do we give God? Our tiredness. When we come, we do not even have the strength to pray. We are tired. We yawn away. It is when we call for prayers, that is when we know that we are tired. We yawn away and we want to sleep off. An hour in front of the blessed sacrament, we cannot. We cannot spend one hour to pray in front of the blessed sacrament. We cannot spend even 30 minutes of quality time with God. Why? Because we do not have strength. We bring him our tiredness. Dear God's good people, let us tell God we are sorry for the many times that we have made our own idols and have worshipped in his place. For the many times that we have let other things take away his place. He is our first love. We must love him over and above everything else. But if other things have taken his place, then you have made them your idols and your God. Nothing should take you away from God or distract you from God. Let us pray that we may destroy all our own idols, our own golden calves that we have made, and worship the God of heaven and earth and serve him alone. Amen. May St. Patrick intercede for us and beg God on our behalf that we may worship him and serve him alone. He was born in Britain around the year 385. Patrick was enslaved and taken to Ireland. After a dramatic escape, he decided to become a priest in order to bring the Christian faith to the Irish. Besides preaching, Patrick devoted himself to much prayer, severe penances, and austerity. As a bishop, he established the church in Ireland so successfully that the Irish missionaries later became a major force in the spreading of the gospel all over the world. He died in the year 461. We wish a happy feast day to all those who go by the name Patrick and to countries and institutions who have him as their patron. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>